Yo, all right. So I know I haven't made a video in like it's a month. Ever. It's some change. And I apologize for that. But you know my vibe in a way and a whole bunch of other stuff that we really don't have no time for. So moving on, this is another episode of Snowflake Rant. And in this one, we are talking about the epidemic. The top selling TV show I'm talking about. Uh, why did I say top selling? Anyway, Catfish. Now, in case you don't know, Catfish the TV show is based on the movie Catfish. I haven't seen the movie, but I know what it's about without actually seeing the movie. Y'all get what I'm saying. Basically, that movie was so popular that MTV decided, yo, let's make a TV show out of this. And he was like, yeah, let me get my homies. And thus, Catfish TV show was born. Here is where the problem kicks in. Because although the show was good, the show is now in its second season. Why is the show having a second season if there was a first season to tell all of you people exactly how to go about finding who you are really talking to online? We have Instagram, we have Instagram, we have Vine, we have Facebook chat, I think, we probably do, I don't know yet. Shoot, people still on MySpace, so I know MySpace got some type of video chat. We got Skype and we got Uvu. Why in the holy hell are you people still getting catfished? I don't understand. Although, like I said before, the show was a good show, there is no reason why there needs to be a season two. All y'all dumb people should have learned from season one. And they make it so simple for you people. Like, I don't understand. Neve and, and the, the friend Max, who I think they have a secret love on the low, which is a nobody I'm telling him to a gay. Secret lovers. That's what we are. My thing is, if me and Max can make it so simple and show you guys that all you really need to do is take the the profile picture from the Facebook page and put it into Google Images, I didn't even know you could do that with Google until I watched Catfish. Son, they make it so simple for you guys. Why is there a season two? If there's a season three, I, I've lost all hope for humanity. I, I really will. If there's a season three. Not to knock the show, Neve and Max, if y'all ever see this, but... Y'all really don't need a season three. People need to learn from these two seasons. The fact that y'all got a season two just shows that people's stupidity works in their favor. First of all, who gets in an online relationship with someone? The whole point of a relationship is to actually speak to the person, to talk to the person, to touch the person, and to hold and interact with the person. I don't understand how people have full relationships with somebody online. How do you have a relationship? I mean... I'm, maybe I'm just newer, maybe I'm just old, cause see, back in my day, when we had a relationship, we actually saw the person, you know, we actually held hands, we actually hugged, you know, we kissed, all that other stuff, we interacted with them, I don't understand how y'all people kiss through a camera, I mean, if you figured out how to do that, please, let me know. That would be beneficial to the rest of us out here living in the real world. And the thing that like really be getting me is that y'all people be in these relationships for months, some years, and it never dawned on you, wait a minute, I've never met this person before. This dude could be a serial killer from Wisconsin for all I know. And y'all be giving, like the last episode um this week, Ramon, yo, Ramon and, and Paola, y'all had to be the craziest episode I think I've ever seen. First of all, dude, dude. What in which world did you think it was okay to spend three thousand dollars on a shorty? Like, please let me know. The fact that you are nineteen years old and have three thousand dollars to spend. I am nineteen years old, but you know, if I had three thousand dollars, you know what I would spend that on? Tuition in a car, cause I'm still driving air right now. The fact that you spend it on homegirl on the internet that you ain't even know. I mean, I think your whole situation brings truth to the song. You ain't even know it, cause you really ain't even know it. The fact that homeboy really took Neve and Max and everybody to this girl's place and then had the nerve to say, yeah, I did meet her, but I, I couldn't believe it. Neve's face is like, yo, y'all better take this crap to true life because y'all just got on my show, wasting my time, and you already met homegirl. Everyone in that episode besides Neve and Max need help because, first of all, how you have a loiter senior and a loiter junior? Since when do females have 
seniors and juniors. That whole situation it wasn't making sense to me. The mom was really trying to justify the fact that her daughter lied to someone online. Mind you, Shorty went and took dude's money and bought herself a ring, mailed it to herself, and said that was from him. I think we have reached a new level of craziness in the world. I'm telling you guys, there's no hope for humanity. If there's a season three, I'm, I'm, I, there really is no hope for humanity. I'm, I promise you. Because there's no reason why there should have even been a season two. Y'all got lucky with season one, to be completely honest. But if there's a season three, if y'all get five seasons out of this, yeah, people, I, y'all done reached a whole level of insanity that I don't think even Sean T knows what to do with. Somebody find him a girlfriend, please. Please, homeboy is looking for love. Everyone needs love, and homeboy is really looking for love. Somebody find him some type of girlfriend. And somebody find that family, lo lo Loida, somebody find that family a therapist, because they need it, or a straight jacket, in the worst way. Please. The first one, the um, the episode, um, the first one of this season was Gladys and, and what was his name, Cassie. Homegirl came to the door. So you think it's Steven? If you know it's you, I don't. So you think it's, that's like, that's like a criminal getting arrested. Like, oh, so you think it's my homeboy? When clearly it's me, but you think it's him, right? I'm not that. that whole show is just crazy. And I'm eager to see how the rest of the season will turn out. And I'm really eager to see if there's going to be a season three because there's going to be a season Y'all need to learn. Y'all going to learn today. But anyway, if you want to hear more craziness than what else goes on in my head, follow me on Tumblr at www.thecoolestnerever.tumblr.com. Um, I'm working on a new mixtape. I'm trying to have it out by the end of the summer, like maybe late August, early September. It's called Better Than The Last, because I'm trying to make it better than the last, you see? You know? So be on the lookout for that. I already got two songs that's going to be on the out. Um, I Am She and Swing Words. I Am She produced by Vibe Beats, Swing Words produced by The Cypher Beats. They're both on my SoundCloud, so go check it out on my site, SoundCloud. The link is down below. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Uh, follow me on Instagram. All links down below. Subscribe to the channel. I'm sorry for the long absence. Uh, June was a really busy month for me, but I'm trying to come back with more stuff, more music. I'm working on an actual music video, or I'm trying to. So we'll see about that. Um, also, like the page. Thank if you're from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yep. Like the page, thank God it's Brooklyn, it's on Facebook. I'll put the link in the description box below. Like them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram. Great site, especially if you're from Brooklyn, obviously. And yeah, stay tuned for more stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.